It's really hard to find things in the morning to eat that are quick and are healthy. So joining me again today is Jana Anderson, and she's going to show me a great smoothie recipe. So we call this really breakfast on the go uh, because it's super simple and easy and it involves a lot of different food groups. So as adults, I know sometimes we hit the snooze button like four times before we <laughs> actually get out of bed. Um, and if you're one of those people, hands Guilty. raised, yeah, me too, <laughs> guilty for sure, then this is a quick, easy, on the go recipe that you can do for a smoothie. And like I said, it is full of all of the ingredients that you need. It has protein in them that's gonna keep you full and help you resist those mid-morning urges to eat. Yeah, I like to snack. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> Me too. So what, what, is there an order? What do well, we do? Well, yeah, so typically um, to use less ice in your smoothie so it has a little bit more flavor, you're going to freeze your fruit. Ah. So you're just gonna have two bananas. I just have one here that we're gonna peel and we're gonna chop that banana. And the smaller that you chop your banana, the quicker it will freeze because they're very dense. Oh. Um, so it will freeze a little bit quicker, especially if you are short on time, you do it overnight. Mm -hmm. Chopping it up and putting it in a freezer bag overnight will help with okay. that. Um, it'll be really quick. So we have our frozen bananas here and then we need uh, one cup of milk that if you'll be so kind to pour in the blender. I would love to if I could figure out how to open it. Hit that release button <laughs> okay. right there. Okay, there's your milk. Okay. Milk first. Yes. And then we have one and a half tablespoons of peanut butter. And the peanut butter that we're using today is um, a peanut butter that does not have sugar, so it's really just pressed peanuts um, just to give us the optimal amount of health and protein. Protein, right? Yeah, okay. lots of protein in that. And then we're going to put in a, I think our tablespoon is over here, a half a tablespoon of cocoa powder. Ooh. So if you like chocolate, you can add more or less of what you like as far as chocolate is concerned. So we'll put a half mm -hmm. a table, start with a half a tablespoon. A heaping tablespoon. Yeah, a heaping tablespoon. And a half. <laughs> Good to go. <laughs> and then we're going to add about four to six ounces of light vanilla yogurt. Okay. So we're just going to scrape that right in there in the blender. So if you're not, um, you know, big on vanilla, can you just use plain yogurt? Plain yogurt or any flavored yogurt that you like. Just really try to make sure that the fat content is low as possible um, when you're adding that yogurt. And here's our frozen bananas. We're going to dump in those. Why is yogurt good to add to this? It's a, a great source of dairy. So of course we know we need dairy for our bones and our teeth, um, our skeletal structure. Well, and that's so supposed it's to keep really you fuller source. longer. It right? does. It yeah. does because milk also has protein in that as well. And then we're going to add one and a half cups of ice. Oh. Okay. Right there, we're going to add that in there and all done. So we put the top on there okay. and then flick it down and then we are ready to go. And that's our 30 second pour and go peanut butter banana smoothie. Well, that's fantastic. All right, let's let's give it a whirl. Let's try it. Turn the power on first. Let's see. <laughs> awesome. All righty. So, Jana, what do you call this? Well, we just really call it a peanut butter banana smoothie. Um, something simple and easy to remember. Um, but like you said before, as little or as much chocolate as you would like. Yeah, I would call this a, a chocolate Elvis. Yeah, I like that name. All right, so Ooh, let's see. Oh, good and thick. Ooh, that's nice and thick. Uh -huh. So if you didn't have time to freeze your banana, you could make this the morning with you a really fresh could. banana. You really could. Yeah, you can make it with a fresh banana. Your consistency may not be the same, um, but if it's flavor really what you're looking for, then it should taste absolutely the same. And it's got protein and all the good things. It has protein, dairy, and a fruit source in there, so. Fantastic, yeah. let's try it. Cheers. Mm. Pretty That's really good. nice. Mm -hmm. I could do that. This took less than like four minutes. Less than four minutes, 30 second blend. A filling breakfast. Thank you, Jana. Very welcome. I'm gonna do this tomorrow. <laughs> mm.